Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Manisha, consultant gynecologist and infertility specialist at Prostine Care, Gurgaon. Today I will be discussing about ectopic pregnancy. What is an ectopic pregnancy? An ectopic pregnancy is an abnormal implantation of a fertilized egg outside the normal uterine cavity. We must understand that the fertilization occurs in the widest part of the fallopian tube and from there with the help of the tubal cilia the fertilized egg is transported to the uterine cavity where implantation occurs. Now if there is any defect in this process the implantation might occur in the tube which might result in tubal ectopic pregnancy which is the most common type of ectopic pregnancy. However ectopics can also occur in cervix, in ovary, in the abdominal cavity and even in the scar of the uterus from a previous surgery. Coming on to the signs and symptoms of ectopic pregnancy. Ectopic pregnancy begins as a normal pregnancy, but then symptoms like spotting, lower backache, abdominal pain might start. Sometimes these symptoms may also be absent. And in cases of ruptured ectopic, the symptoms may vary from very severe vaginal bleeding to shock, to rectal discomfort, to shoulder pain. A rupture ectopic can be life-threatening. What are the causes of ectopics? Ectopic can result due to an infection of the tube that is salpingitis, tuberculosis, pelvic inflammatory diseases, previous surgery on the ectopic, unsupervised use of the emergency contraceptive pills, Sometimes in cases of IVF, after the embryo transfer, embryo might go on to implant in the tube. So IVF process is also one of the reasons of the increasing incidence of ectopic pregnancy. Another reason could be some structural or genetic defect of the tube, where the tube is abnormally long. It could result in ectopic. Coming on to the diagnosis and treatment of an ectopic pregnancy. An ectopic pregnancy is diagnosed with the help of beta-HCG levels and a transvaginal ultrasound. Once it is diagnosed that the pregnancy is an ectopic location, a treatment plan is formulated based on the size of the ectopic and whether or not the fetus has cardiac activity or not. So the very important point is how early the ectopic is diagnosed. Because in cases of early diagnosis of ectopic, the treatment can be done with the help of an injection that is methotrexate, that is medical management. But if the pregnancy is advanced, that is if the fetus has cardiac activity or the size is beyond a particular size, in that cases, we might need laparoscopic treatment. And, and a ruptured ectopic is always, always an emergency and the tube in which there is ectopic needs to be removed. Coming on to the prevention of ectopic pregnancy. Since we've discussed that the ectopic is most commonly due to a tubal pathology or a tubal infection, very important is to treat that infection. If it is tuberculosis, if it is in pelvic inflammatory disease, or if it is a sexually transmitted infection, it needs to be treated. Then another point is whether or not it is possible to have a normal pregnancy after an ectopic pregnancy. It is possible to conceive with the help of one healthy tube. Although the risk of having an ectopic is increased if there is a history of ectopic in the previous pregnancy. So it is better to consult your health specialist before planning a pregnancy if you have a history of an ectopic pregnancy. Book your surgery appointment on pristinecare.com. Pristine Care.